Welcome back to Bloomberg. From Facebook to MySpace, the big question for all new media moguls is how do you turn clicks into currency? We found a website that's doing just that by chronicling New York's nightlife from the city to the Hamptons. It's one-stop shop for social networking, finding events, tagging photos, and it's coming in just break even right now during this new media wave. We're joined now by founder and editor Rochelle Hrushka. She's uh, head of guestofaguest.com. It's guestofaguest.com. Tell us how this site works. Well, the site started as a hobby of mine and uh, my business partner, Cameron. And Cameron Winklevoss, one of the founders of Connect You. Correct. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we were really interested in just this new wave of social media um, online. And Right now it works by us covering the movers and the shakers of New York City um, between 20 and 40. They're the people that are really changing the landscape of our um, you know, centers in New York and I guess the world because everyone has their eyes on them. So um, we try and you know, take pictures of them when they're out, get them to be our reporters, um, you know, utilize some of the new technologies to do that too. Mm -hmm. And how many clicks do you have per month? We have right now around two million. Two million views per yes. month. Wow. Yeah. How, do you, how do you turn those clicks into revenue? How do you make money off of that? Um, well, we have a group that any sponsor would love to try and get. The demographics are amazing. I mean, we have people that are the movers and shakers and tastemakers. So all of the sponsors that come to us, they really value our page views maybe higher than other ones because they're the people that are setting the new trends. So and that's an advertising based model? We have an advertising based model. Um, you know, that's one of the fun parts of, of the job is that I have a team now of eight people, core people, and it's kind of fun to see how this new media is changing and how we're going to change along with it and try and make it more lucrative. But advertising based is definitely a part of that. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you get involved in trying to create a new media site? Yeah, I was reading, there was a profile of you in the New York Times. It said you started off actually as an assistant to Ron Barron of the Barron Funds. Yes. I actually, um, I think your help desk at Bloomberg, if they knew I was here, might come after me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Bloomberg you was ca great. called them constantly, constantly from Barron's on office? AIM, on the like, um, yeah, for for help, tech support, which they were amazing. But, um, you know, it really was a true hobby. I was super interested in New York. I came here from Nebraska. I was curious about what was going on, and I didn't find that there was a one-stop shop to tell me what was important about New York mm -hmm. um, for my demographic. I know, you know, New York Mag is, you know, kind of like an, they're sending reporters to cover important things, and they do an incredible job. We kind of want to be the on-ground you know, focus. And most of our coverage is from the kids that are actually at the event. Okay. So so do you, do you employ those photographers or it's really someone's at an event, they have their photo taken and it's them posting it themselves or sending it to you? It's a little bit of both. Um, we have 70 freelance photographers that do get paid for their work. Um, sometimes photographers will just send you know, their stuff into me and we'll be like, sure, we'll, we'll be happy to publish it. Everyone in this economy, everyone is trying to get their name out and there's so many creatives in New York and we're trying to help give them a platform to showcase their work, whether it's photography, fashion, art, um, all of these worlds colliding is kind of what we're trying to do and we want them to be the reporters for us. So if I were a business or if I were a designer or something with Fashion Week that's upcoming, this would be a way for me to sort of market myself free of absolutely, charge? Absolutely, absolutely. And one of the things we're doing for Fashion Week is um, we're, we're partnering with Cosmo Magazine to do the videos, um, some video coverage with, you know, inside the designers' lives, trying to get a perspective um, with that. And that's a perfect example of something we would cover is the parties from Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. But maybe also like a different aspect of them, not just from the red carpet, not just from the tents, but going into the actual parties, um, which a lot of people don't have access to. And we can send in, you know, um, our interns that are well known now and they can get the scoop and give it to us. So. so are you looking for further partnerships like that with an established media name like a Cosmo? I think any time you partner up with someone, it, it's always beneficial. It can always be beneficial. We're always open to meeting with people and hearing you know, what they have to offer um, 
and yeah, I think we, we definitely are focusing on trying to utilize all of these tools, all of these, you know, even print media can offer us some help, mm -hmm. um, believe it or not. But I think that just trying to, you know, focus in on keeping the tastemakers, you know, alive and, and buzzing and creating real kind of like experiences like you're there. Right. Is what we're focusing on. Well, good so. luck with that. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We love Thank looking you. at the new media and the people Thank changing you. the face there. That's Rochelle Hrushka of guestofaguest.com.